what happened was true. something like that you can't tell me it doesn't give you chills you can't tell me that it doesn't make you feel isolated how scary is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre I think this is if not mistaken this is one of the first films that has the moniker based on a true story and just going off of that alone made this film incredibly spooky. Um, we have to start off with atmosphere. With the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and its atmosphere, it has to be said that the location that they picked for this is very open and abandoned. It gives you that abandoned feel this huge house in the middle of this large landscape with damn near nothing in sight is insane. Um, upon getting into the house, you have like couches made out of skeletons and bones and um, there's no one in the house either. The atmosphere just bleeds mystery, but in a sinister way, but you know someone lives there. And we're not even talking about the sliding door that slides open. You're wondering what's back there. You don't know. It's creepy. Atmosphere for this movie is, is bar none. Compared to any horror movie I've watched in my lifetime, I, I, this movie's probably in the top five ever of atmosphere. With, with Leatherface, the costume. The costume is eerie in itself because this is being worn by this hulking, hulking on the spectrum character and he's big, wide, strong, he's a brute, you know what I mean? And he wears, he wears a mask of skin from victims. He wears the face of victims on his, on his face. First of its kind, you've never seen nothing like that. Like you can't tell me that that isn't freaky. How is it not freaky? You don't expect to see this. You don't expect to see this in the setting that it's in, which makes this movie insane, crazy. Oh my God, it couldn't be me. I, I couldn't be me, I'm brown. I have athletic ability, but I'm here to tell you, being caught off guard by something like that with the door sliding open, yikes. Costume, I must say, like they, that's a well-designed killer. Well-designed kill, it's bizarre. Very bizarre. Um, the kill style of Leatherface in, these, in this movie um, is very brutal. He uses his strength to grab you. You do not want this man to get a hold of you. It's not just the chainsaw that you have to worry about. It's the blunt objects, the crowbars, the meat cleavers. You know what I mean? And and, and just getting just being grabbed by this dude. Even when you look to the future and look at the reboots and the more modern uh, incarnations of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, this guy is hella strong. Um, the chainsaw in itself is is crazy. Watching this dude run around with this chainsaw, he'll cut he'll cut at anything. It doesn't matter head, necks, stomach, arm, cutting off anything. Just being caught up in a small vicinity of space with this dude, this hulking maniac with his chainsaw, and he's swinging at everything. Oh my gosh, his kill style is oh lord. Oh my god. This is, but not least, we have to discuss the speed of this dude. He's not a Walker. He's not a Michael Myers. He's not a Freddy Krueger. He's not a Jason. This guy runs. He'll run after you. This is, he's already big and he's already strong and he's already on that spectrum 
when she sees that, sees the victim, he's got to pounce. And he's going to run, jog, jump over stuff. That's, that's a recipe for disaster. And on top of that, the dude's not overweight. He's not overweight. He's not, he's not obese or anything. This is just who he is. He's just a solid dude. And he's able to run. That, <laughs> even check the ending out to the original movie. Watching him run down the highway. Broad daylight. Broad daylight running with that chainsaw. You would think you have a chainsaw it would slow you down. No, he is full speed ahead. <sighs> I have to talk about the iconic ending of this movie. The fact that, especially in theaters, man, when it came out, I wasn't alive, but I'm going off of what I've heard. As the credits hit the screen, as he's swinging around his, his chainsaw in frustration, there's no music once the, uh, the, the credits hit the screen. It's abrupt, there's no music. It's just silence. There's just silence. That's eerie. That's eerie, and if you're asking me how scary the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is, if we're going by categories, the atmosphere, the costume, this killer's speed, and this killer's kill style, in my honest opinion, I gotta give it a five out of five. This is a five, this is a five star. This is a five star right here. Five star rating. This guy is, is scary. We're not even talking about the sequels that followed. Because there are some there are some crazy moments within the sequels that follow this. Texas Chainsaw Massacre definitely. Leatherface, definitely five star. Dude's scary. Five star rating. Scare. If you're rocking with this type of content, please hit the subscribe button, like, share, support your boy. I'm mixing some stuff up. I'm trying some new things. We're gonna we're gonna get there. It's valley experience, and I'm out.